Hey friend, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Wanted to talk today about a little bit of a trick to clean up some vocals when you're using a lot of delay with the vocals. So as you know, it's probably a lot more common in some styles of music than it is in others, but in certain styles, there's a tendency to kind of really drench things in a lot of delay. So I've got this uh, vocal clip here. You gotta do what you wanna do. Okay. And so a lot of people would say, oh, that's kind of boring. So first thing they do is habit to change the color and to put it in my mix group. Um, they throw on a delay and they find something like this maybe. So if I play that, you gotta do what you wanna do. What you wanna do. Okay, so I agree that adds a lot more interest, but um, you lose a lot of the clarity and it's even hard to tell what she's singing at some points. So what you need to do is add some compression that um, compresses the, the delay signal and lets the original vocal come through. Okay, so what do you need to do that? Well, okay, we've got the dynamics that comes with a handy dandy side chain in input already built in. So we go to the mix. The problem is though, what it uses for this for the trigger, you need something before the delay out. So here's where the trick is. And it's really easy. All you have to do is before the delay, go up and add your tool. Right? And then you just leave that as it is. You don't have to change it at all. But then what that allows you to do is on the device input, on the dynamics, you go to mix the track name and tool out. And now that's using this without the delay as um, the sidechain trigger. And so now you adjust the ratio a little bit, adjust the threshold. And now when we listen, you got to do what you want to do. You got to be, you got to be, you want to be. Okay. And so the trick is to um, get it to compress and let that original vocal signal come through without making the release really obvious so that when it comes back in, it's like, oh, a huge jump in the volume there. And so, of course, you can play around with the, with the, the attack and the release a little bit. See what that what we can do. Something like that. So just by way of contrast, this is without the dynamics on. You gotta do what you wanna do. You gotta be Then with it on. Okay, so just something easy, but um, maybe not immediately obvious. I hope that's helpful to you. And of course, that holds true for anything you want to do. Reverb, um, delay, anything distortion that would kind of obliterate the original vocal and make it unclear. Um, you can use this trick to bring some clarity back into it. So I hope that helps you guys. If it did, definitely give this video a like. Um, if you'd like to see more from me, now's the time to hit subscribe. Please do. And like I've told you before, um, I've got a free guide for you. It's called How to Accelerate Your Music Making in Bitwig Studio. Um, just go to bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. And it's just a free guide about how to set up Bitwig Studio so that when you start up the program, you can get right to music making. You don't have to go through some steps that maybe you don't even think about, but you just have to do them every time. So again, bishopswest.com slash bitwig setup. It's my free gift to you. Just go download it. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I look forward to hearing from you guys. That's kind of the highlight of my week when I put one of these up and you guys start asking me questions or, or giving me comments. So I appreciate that. Um, and I think that's all I had for you. So hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time. Thanks.